Good morning, Four Sand Buffaloes. It's Miss Barron here, and um, today we have something fun in store. And so I'm going to teach you how to make a pinwheel of your own to practice deep breathing. And so you may be asking, or you may even heard when when we are overwhelmed or stressed, or maybe we were worried about something, someone tells you to take a deep breath. And it kind of seems silly. Why take deep breaths? Well, if you do it correctly, it really does benefit our bodies. And so here are some things that doing or taking deep breaths helps, helps our bodies do. And so um, breathing helps me do this. It helps um, stop pain. It gives me more energy. It helps my swelling go down. It cleans out my lungs. It helps me digest food. It helps my body relax and it helps me to focus. But here are some things that it really helps to do, especially if we're feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, Tuesday, I read a book um, about our brain and how our brains are pretty amazing. And so sometimes when we feel overwhelmed or stressed, we do what's called as we flip our lid. Um, and if you remember, we talked about this part of our brain, which is the wise owl, and it helps us to stay calm. And so when we are overwhelmed or stressed, um, our bodies, um, our heart rate goes up and um, our bodies cannot be calm. Um, and then, um, yeah, so basically when we want to get our bodies back in a state where our frontal lobe or our wise owl can help our bodies, um, deep breathing helps you do that. And so when we do deep breathing, um, it helps lower your heart rate. It calms our bodies and our minds, and it's a good distraction tool because now we're focusing on um, exhaling and inhaling with um, our breaths, and so we're not thinking about what's causing us to be overwhelmed or stressed. And so um, in guidance lessons in school, um, I have taught the kids one simple technique they can use, and it's called smell the rose and blow out the candle. Um, and so when we do deep breathing, uh, friends, we want to make sure that we always breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, okay? And so when we do smell the rose, blow out the candle, we smell the rose with our nose, hold for two seconds, and then we blow out the candle. Do it with me, friends. Smell the rose. Hold. Blow out the candle. Okay, so that's just one way that we can do deep breathing. Miss um, Barron has lots of different um, uh, strategies or ways that we can do deep breathing, and so I'm going to talk about those, um, not just today, but as the weeks go on, I'm going to hop on here and do like a coping tool of the day. And so today we're actually going to do deep breathing with pinwheels and we're going to make our own pinwheel. And so here in a minute, um, we're going to do that. But I wanted to tell parents kind of where, um, where I found this resource and I will, um, I will, uh, post it at the bottom of this video so that you can get to it, but it's called coping skills for kids workbook. Um, I use this a lot um, in counseling when kids come to my room. It is great. Um, it's over 75 coping strategies to help kids deal with stress, anxiety, anger, when they're overwhelmed. And so it looks kind of like this. And you can go on and order the book or you can download the digital book. And it's not very much. Um, but it comes with a lot of resources that you can use for your students. So today <clears throat> we are going to make a pinwheel. And here are the things that you're going to need. And I got this, this from the book that I just told you about, the Coping Skills for Kids workbook. But you're going to need a square. And if you don't have this exact square at home, your parents probably can use construction paper or a piece of paper to make a square. Okay. And although it doesn't have the dots, probably your parents can make the, the five dots and the lines. And I'm going to show you here in a minute just what you need for that or how you use that. Um, you're also going to need a pencil, and so I chose purple. Uh, my two favorite colors are pink and purple um, and turquoise, and so I picked those. You're going to need a push pin. You might need your parents' help, especially if you're little, so you don't stab yourself. Okay, and then finally you're going to need some scissors. So those are the, the four things that you're going to need, okay? And so here is the first step. You're going to cut out the template of the pinwheel, 
and then you're going to cut along the lines. And so let me show you what that looks like. Make sure that you do this under your parent's supervision, especially if you're young, because you may need help with cutting and you may need help with poking um, the push pin through, okay? And I just don't want you to hurt your finger or cut your finger, that would be very bad. Okay, so now I've cut the square, so everybody see that. And then you see these diagonal lines, you're gonna cut those diagonal lines just to the, where it stops. Now, if you want to go and buy um, a pinwheel, you can always find them about this time in the spring. Um, the Dollar Tree usually has them. You can find them at Walmart. Um, and it's easy or good just to have around the house um, in case you want to practice deep breathing with a pinwheel. All right, so it looks like that. I've cut all my lines. And so the next thing I'm going to do is it says take the push pin, which is a tack, um, and and take each corner of the dot and push it into the pin. So this is what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna start with the middle, and I'm just gonna barely push it in. And I know you can't really see that, but I pushed it in just like that. And then I'm gonna take each corner where the dot is, and I'm gonna push it through. And I'll show you in just a second what it looks like. Oh. Miss Barron is no YouTube star by any means, but you see that? And so I'm gonna take each corner that has a dot and I'm just gonna push it in to the, the um, push pin. And try not to stab my fingers, because that kind of hurts. Okay, I'm gonna take the next corner, push it through. There we go. And then I'm gonna take that last corner and I'm gonna push it through where the black dot is. Now, again, you don't need this template. Um, your parents can easily cut out a square um, and put the diagonal lines and put the dots for you. But if your parents do want to use the template, it is in that book, but it looks like this after I've pushed all of the corners into the push pin. And then I'm gonna take the pencil and I'm gonna push the push pin into the pencil just like that, or push it into the eraser, I'm sorry, not the pencil. And so when you're done, it looks something like this. Does everybody see that? It's kind of like a pinwheel. You know, most of the time when you buy them from the store, they're like colorful and beautiful. Um, and so when the wind hits it, it spins, which sometimes these don't always spin as great as the ones in the store. So, but this is a fun activity um, to do at home and to, we've been talking about our character trait this month is creativity. And so this would be one great way um, to show your creativity skills, okay? And if you can come up with a better one, um, post a picture and let me see it, okay? And so deep breathing, remember I said, you go in through the nose and out through the mouth. So when we have flipped our lid because we're maybe overwhelmed, stressed, feeling anger, anxiety, or worry, when we take deep breaths, it helps us to slow our heart rate, which will help us calm our bodies and our minds, okay? And it'll also distract us from what's going on. And so deep breathing, if you do it correctly, is a great way to help our bodies calm down and it's very beneficial. Um, we just have to do it the right way. And so breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna breathe in through the nose, hold, and then blow out through my mouth. Are you ready? All right, here we go. And that, my friends, is how you make a pinwheel to help with deep breathing. And so if you do this activity, please post a picture underneath um, this video or you can send it to me in my email or even on Facebook. I would love to see your pinwheels that you make for deep breathing, okay? Um, my goal is to hop on here once a week and talk about a deep breathing or um, mindfulness. There's a lot of different coping skills that we can do to help when we feel overwhelmed or we flip our lid. And so um, I will be back next week reading more about our um, that book about flipping our lid and then I'll also be on to do another coping skill for our toolbox okay um, I miss you guys um, I tell you three three things before you always leave me um, you matter you're important I care about you guys um, and I can't wait to see you
I'll see you later, friends.